truth in what I'm saying. All right, here we go. Uh, oh, I'm in water. <laughs> That's what I was just doing. <laughs> was like well, welcome to Whiskey Ways and Way. I'm Chuck. Well, I'm Zach. And today we have uh, Colorado's strongest team here. I'm going to let you introduce yourself. Rosalinda Barrett. Uh, Brandon Barrett. A lot of people call me just Brando. 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 Yeah, I, I saw Brando and I almost said Brando to start with. Yeah. <laughs> well, so, I figured we need to knock this out soon since it's only what, three, four weeks until yeah. Colorado yeah. Strongest? Yeah, coming up quick, definitely. We definitely want to get this out before the show. That way we can promote it. You know, I, yeah. I looked, I saw y'all were already sold out. Like y'all have already filled all the slots. Yeah, I think we, we started at 50, like a 50 athlete limit and then went to 60. And we have yeah, well, 70, it was, uh, or 40. We, to, yeah, we started was, at 40. <laughs> yep, started at 40. Oh. Then we uh, got a lot of interest, raised it to 50. And then now I think we're at 62 athletes, and that's it. So <laughs> that's it's going to be a packed show for sure. Awesome. Well, before we get too far into it, let's go ahead and fix our drinks. Uh, I know we're drinking on Devil's River. We got this at a bourbon swap. We yeah. did. Whiskey swap. Was it last weekend? Yep, last weekend. And then what are y'all awesome. drinking on? We have a Colorado whiskey, and it's called Fireside Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Um, and Linda did a little bit of research and said that uh, Colorado has some of the best whiskey, mostly because of how fresh the water is here. So it's kind of an unsaying hero when it comes to making whiskey is having some good water. So that was kind of a mm -hmm. cool fact about uh, the Colorado whiskey that I thought was pretty cool. We, I'm just looking for the bottle. Oh. We had a bottle around here somewhere where we did a, about three episodes with. It was from Breckenridge. Oh, uh, awesome. Yeah. It was really good. Uh, we went through that quick. I don't even know if it made through two episodes. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. We get to talking. We'll get to drinking a lot. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, that's when the best conversations come out, I feel like. <laughs> oh, yeah. All well, right. Cheers. 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 I did a light pour because I have spent all day the last two days out in the sun sweating, building furniture and cutting grass. I'm I'm sorry if I'm a little uh, lethargic in this episode. And go ahead and say <laughs> properly hydrating. Yeah, and, and yeah. properly hydrating. Yeah. yeah. Let's, let's let's not make excuses. Yeah. <laughs> I've got my salt packets. <laughs> yeah, it's not enough though, man. So y'all yeah, sure uh, had a good weekend so far? Yeah, I was going to say we're probably, you know, a little on the lethargic side as well. But, um, we really haven't told many people, but we might as well now. Um, Linda and I are buying a house. So oh, congratulations. Nonstop. Thank you. We've been nonstop moving and we ran a garage sale yesterday pretty much all day and that in the sun and that kind of tired us out for sure. But Still a lot to get done, and the move-in is August 1st. Then we got Colorado Strongest. Oh, man. And then I got Shaw Classic coming after that, and Linda's going to start her OSG prep. So man, really it sounds like that. It sounds like us earlier in the year. We had a, <laughs> a baby due the same week oh. as Limit Breakers. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so. that, yeah, I can imagine how that goes. <laughs> so we have a, a couple friends who are pregnant now, and they uh, – they're starting to prep for Shaw Classic as well. And um, I mean, among other things, I think he's doing OSG as well, but just all kinds of stuff happening in life right now. Pretty cool. Oh, yeah. So, you know, you're staying in Colorado Springs? Yep. Yeah. Nice. So, y'all are not moving far, just. Yep. Yeah, just okay. down the road, about 15 <laughs> minutes from where we're at now. So, not too bad. Closer to the gym, which is cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, we were looking at property trying to find something and kind of build a commune, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, I like y'all's banner in the background, the podcast banner. Oh, thanks. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Ironically, it's uh, first appearance is with you guys. We haven't even launched our first episode yet. So <laughs> I was about to we ask because I had We're to on each it. other's podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We should cut this in half and air half on yours and half on ours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, we don't even have a banner yet. We're 12 episodes, 13 episodes in. I'm just yeah, using old comp banners. <laughs> <laughs> I like that banner. That's pretty cool. Oh, I appreciate like it. the world's strongest opinions is still on there. That was a good uh, podcast for oh, a while. Wow. Oh, yeah. I miss those guys. Oh, hopefully they'll yeah. bring it back soon. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hopefully they're both really good guys for sure. I think that was, that was our first ever podcast that we were on. We were on it a couple of times and then we were on that okay. baby barbells podcast. So this will be our fourth with you guys. So cheers to that. <laughs> oh, yes. Cheers. Yes. Um, well, I guess let's get into the competition for those who don't know, we will be live streaming this show. Um, this will be our sixth or seventh one this year. And it's a 21 hour one way trip for us. Wow. So <laughs> we'll be hi- We'll be driving that, uh, leaving out Thursday morning, hopefully get there by Friday at lunch. So we can, at awesome. least, yeah, at least man, we appreciate that so much. Oh no. Well, thanks we for doing that. Having us. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, well, yeah. This will be the first one you get to come. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> It'll be exciting. I think we got a good good lineup of events uh, to really keep the day interesting, for sure. Um, really excited about the progress on the Hercules hold. Um, that'll hopefully be done next week. Uh, they're working on it again on Monday. So hopefully that'll be finished and be able to be tested by Saturday. So we'll be sure to share some stuff with that. Awesome. Well, yeah. here, I'll, um, I can go ahead and share the iron podium on here. Oh, sweet. Nice. And we'll just run through the events because your competition is a little different than others. It has six events. Right. You're really trying to kill people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I figured what I heard a lot, uh, recently is true test of strength comes from like more than just the five events typically. And Mm -hmm. so like the, the event we decided to choose was sandbag toss because it's one of those events where people don't train a lot. So it's going to be a real big toss up between who gets that last bag. I think, yeah, toss up. (laughs) No pun intended, (laughs) unfortunately. Um, It'll be be cool. I I see a lot of people really launching those first few bags and then just struggling on that last bag. So that last bag is really going to make a difference, which will make it exciting. So, Man, I'll tell you, our last big show when we had sandbags, we did it inside and I had a ceiling. My ceiling was probably 25 feet or so. And we had it set at 15. For the throw yeah. and i told the guys i said if it hits the ceiling you get an automatic clear i don't care if it were it wasn't far enough back but <laughs> sure yeah right. man i had so many bags i thought we we're going to get ripped because they were hitting the beams as hard as they could oh, man. they were <laughs> slinging them wow that's uh, crazy yeah but, i can imagine but nobody got the 60 pounder so <laughs> yeah. wow you had a 60 pound bag that's crazy over what does we have a 50 feet? huh oh i think we had um, a 65 was our heaviest we, we, wow. nobody got past the 60 right okay so our heaviest bag is 50. that'd be really impressive if somebody could get a, fi- a 60 pound bag that, that would have been oh, really yeah. cool to see um but yeah our, well, our heaviest is 50 i think for the super heavies so well still though you said yeah, that uh true test of strength i've been playing the idea of kind of following in what the shaw classics doing where exactly. there's not just a single event it's three or four events all wrapped into one yeah, those let's do a single finger and go do a load and go do a squat. <laughs> yeah, the trick is like it, you. I I think with doing that, it's really exciting and definitely, like you said, a true test of strength. But the trick is with that is having enough volunteers to balance that all out because there's a lot more moving parts, and that's where with our shows, I try to keep it simple for now until we can really nail down a solid crew that'll maybe be with us at every show. Um, yeah. But yeah, I think that's the trick. Cause I'd really want to do a cool medley like that too. Um, Cause again, I, I mean, you could be strong and conditioned or you could not <laughs> just really, really <laughs> fail at that kind of thing. So oh, yeah. that's let's, cool. Uh, I like that. Let's take a look at some of the stuff you got going on here, but I know. All right. So, Strong, it's not. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm stuttering over here. It's Strong Corp. So, yeah, Strong Man Corp. Okay. Yeah. And it's showing that you have first, second, and third are going to all be qualifiers. First, yep. to get you nationals and regionals, and then second and third will get you regionals. Yeah. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, I think that's it. And it's that. a little bit, I think there's only one class that we have so far that has just one athlete. Yeah, so then okay. they'll qualify a little bit differently. Yeah. or we can combine them but i think it's just a, no- a novice class that has so we'll probably just leave her on her own oh, yeah. instead of combining yeah. her with like, open women or something <laughs> oh yeah all right so let's i guess let's run through the events you got 
a max log to start with. Are you yep. using any specific logs on that one? Yeah, so those are our pride and joy of the gym. Those those logs are uh, one of a few wooden logs, you know, here in the States. Nice. And uh, so, like, one of them is an eight-foot log, and that's our small log. And um, that's a 12-inch log, so that'll be used for the lightweight men all the way up to the middleweight men. And then we have a behemoth of a log that's, uh, I think, including the poles and everything, is, like, just over 10 feet. And it's oh, a, nice. it's cool. It's a 12 inch diameter and then it bevels out to like a 14 inch diameter on the ends. Um, so the smaller log is 150 empty and then the bigger one is 250 empty. Um, oh, so those are, they're really cool logs. You guys will be excited to see those. You'll definitely have to get your hands on them too. I was just um, about to ask will I be allowed to? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a common question. So I don't mind at all. Um, <laughs> But, but I, yeah, I haven't done great. log press in like four months, so this would be a good little thing <laughs> if go. I lost it all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, the, the cool thing about Colorado Strongest with these logs, and I think going into future shows, is like for Olympic City, we had those wood logs as the last log in our ladder. And the logs were heavy enough that not many people got to press those big logs. So here at Colorado Strongest, they'll be working on these logs for that max weight. So you get to see people use them. Um, at Olympic City, I was a little sad because nobody got the 400-pound log. There was oh. definitely some people that were signed up that didn't show up that could potentially lift it. Um, mm -hmm. But either way, I mean, they're they're awesome. They're so beautiful. It was like a six-month uh, process. There was a, a mitigation company that donated the logs. So that's where it all started. That was just some random Facebook marketplace post. And I was like, babe, I want to go get some logs. <laughs> you know, and that's how it all starts. I see something. And so then from there, I had to figure out who uh, could lay them. Yeah, we had, there was a whole, a whole bunch of people that made them. We just yeah. got the things and took them to the people. <laughs> yeah. And they made them for yeah. us. So there was only one person in Colorado who could lay the log that big. And they mm -hmm. had like a 12 foot lathe. And so I reached out and it was like a two and a half hour drive just to take the logs there. And he sponsored our show. So he did it for kind of a discount. And then from there, I had a, a welder. Um, I don't know if you guys know Clint Moneymaker out of North Carolina. He's with Scrap Masters Custom Welding. Uh, I've heard of Scrap been, Masters, yeah. Okay. He's been around a little while in the strongman community making some things. He has really quality product, uh, products. And uh, so he made the hardware for the logs. And then a friend of ours, uh, Colton and Sarah, uh, their dad does some woodworking. So he chiseled out the handles and installed the handles and, um, and then installed the rope properly and everything like that. So those logs are awesome. The, the value is just invaluable with those things. And so we're excited for that to always be in our shows somehow. Oh, yeah. We we had a wooden log. It got decommissioned after Limit Breaker this year. At the oh, nice. End. It was already cracked all the way through on both sides, which yeah. is almost impossible to prevent. And right. um, we had somebody, I think it was the last person, they dropped it and it landed on the horn just wrong. Okay. And ripped all the bolts out the side. So it, it's now a uh, wall mount. It's just a there you go. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I like that idea. Yeah. So even with these logs, when I was telling my wife, I was like, these are just competition logs only. So they stay locked up at our gym. Um, That's but since we bought the house now recently, we're going to start our own little collection of things. So those will be stored at our house now. So, but yeah, we gotta, we gotta take care of some of those things like that. And I'm oh, glad you guys yes. got yours mounted because they're still beautiful no matter what. <laughs> oh, hundred percent. And it, yeah. we kind of had the same situation. One of our friends, um, he's judged at my show. He he's runs West Alabama Strongman. Oh yeah, he yeah, built it by hand. Yeah, he he oh. built it by hand. He built me my frame for the last competition. He's awesome. really good word, woodworker, and um, I I sent him the picture of it broken. He goes, "Man, I'm sorry, I can't fix that." <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, there's not much you can do. Yeah. But here's an idea. Yeah, that's one of the cool things about strongman is especially those custom pieces. You know, it's made by somebody by hand. You know, you mm -hmm. can't just go buy these things somewhere just off the market. So I like things exactly. like that for sure. Well, next up, we've got our now. I'm reading it off of Iron Podium. Are, are these in the order they're going to be? Yes. Yep. Okay. So event two is going to be Hercules Hold. Yep. Now you said you're still 
finalizing the build on that one is, is it yeah. testing or is it safety measures or is it just not finished it's just not quite finished we're having two of them built so that we could have two lanes going with it being a More. six event show i want to definitely get through at a reasonable time um so we'll have two of them built they're almost done with one uh, he actually is bringing another one of his buddies to help finish up on monday because it's quite a bit of work but um but yeah those will be done hopefully next week and then the biggest thing I was kind of explaining to them with this is, especially with the Hercules hold, I'm, I don't know if you guys seen that viral video of the guy getting hit in the head with the Hercules so hold. So I was there competing at that show. Wow. We know that yeah. guy. We actually met oh, him. Yeah. Wow. I've got a video of it, a very clear video of it. And yeah. I, when it happened, we thought he was dead. We thought he, oh he was dead. I did too. I couldn't <clears throat> believe it was on Instagram. I, I didn't want to watch it again. He's a tough SOB, man. Yeah, he he, he went to the hospital. That not only did it hit his head, but it crushed his hand. He walked away. I showed you the video, didn't yeah. I? Yeah. Yeah. Um, he he drove himself home from the hospital that day. No concussions. No. <laughs> that guy's He's a just, warrior for sure. He yeah. is. It gives <laughs> me chills just thinking about it, man. So that was gonna. The, that was kind of why I asked. Was it safety yeah, measures that exactly. you were doing? What, what yeah, is that was, it that you're finishing up on it? Right. That video went viral quick. And it's like one of those things where it's you got to realize the importance of testing. It's huge. No matter how simple to implement, like my stone platforms that we built, um, you know, you just you got to make sure those aren't going to fail. And, you know, just something as simple as a wood platform, you think it'd be easy to get right. But I mean, there's a lot of structural integrity that has to be, you know, kept yeah. in mind. And, you know, especially with these Hercules hold the way they can move and stuff like that. You know, one thing I, I want to consider when having these welders put this together is having it not able to come back towards the app. Mm. You know what I mean? So having some kind of stop so that it can't go that way. And that, that's just a simple measure to take. And so that's one of the things we've been uh, stressing a little bit. Um, so we'll have uh, uh, an interesting way we're having this built too is um, we're having some loading pins welded onto the top so that we can adjust weight that way, which is not something I've seen really, um, but also adjustable heights on where the chains are attached. So that, that way, you know, depending on how high or low it is, it, it'll be heavier or lighter, you know. So that's one thing that we're, we're taking precaution on. You know, we got some people here who have probably never held a Hercules hold. I mean, including myself, I've never even touched one. So we got to make sure it's right. That's that's the biggest thing with that event. Yeah. Uh, there's a guy who built one out here, Todd. Uh, he did like what you said, he had adjustable height welded yep. on so it, it looks like it's just the spine welded on yep, exactly inside. and um he put so he's got i think they were 12 or 13 inch diameter pipes yep. okay he has a stop underneath it so when it's tilted straight up oh, as as that's go, it's go. pressing it onto a metal block like a so wedge. yeah so when i got set into it for the battle of the forge last year Okay. I, would, I was actually pulling it together as tight as I could, and, and it was just pulling it onto a block. So there was no okay. way to flip it back towards you. That's perfect. That's yeah, that's. that's I'm actually glad you told me that. I was trying to think when I was telling you how that would work. but Make it removable, like and you can use it as a finger finger, too. There you go. Yeah, the only yeah. trick was you, you said that guy had a spine. Mm -hmm. With, oh, he, he's got five of them. He's got okay. three that are made for finger fingers and two for um, – <laughs> Oh, wow. For, yeah, he's a yeah. – He's a master builder that okay. doesn't sell anything. That, that doesn't sell anything. That's what. Yeah, I was trying to figure out how I could kind of double them up as finger fingers, but I'm just going to go with separate implements so that we don't have oh, to yeah. deal with that spine getting in the way. As well. So, I mean, unless we made it loadable from the other side. So, you know, there's basically pivot points that are, you know, crossing together. But, but yeah, what do we got next? So the next up, yeah, the deadlift. Is this um, a special type of deadlift or axle or? Um, just no, a regular just a, traditional deadlift. Just a regular traditional deadlift, yeah. And right now uh, we're kind of, uh, it, it'll come down to whether or not we can get some equipment sponsors to help us out with deadlift bars because I want matching deadlift bars for this. And right now we haven't bought our own yet. 
and if that's the case, it'll be power power bars. Um, mm -hmm. But originally, it's going to be deadlift bars. So that's what I'm sticking with. Um, there's a gym here in town called Spartan Barbell, and they're a powerlifting gym. So um, I'm kind of talking with him about sponsoring us just the deadlift bars for that show. So most likely just conventional deadlift uh, from uh, deadlift bars. Well, I have an Ohio Rogue deadlift bar. Okay. If you can find a second one, I'll bring mine. Okay. That works. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah. I'll see what they have at Spartan. And if it matches, that I'll go with that. Yeah. No. Cool. I'll say, because I'm already loading up a truck full. Might as well throw a bar in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No kidding. That's cool. But yeah, just simple uh, with that one. Kind of a question we've had and i'll bring it up now because linda said we could kind of use this platform to update people mm -hmm. um so we've gotten some questions that i forgot to put in the rules so with this deadlift there's no deadlift suits no briefs um i i don't know why i didn't put that in there that's kind of just a common thing that i do um but yeah no deadlift suits no briefs and no touch and go so you can't just bounce it off the ground and keep going so i want a dead stop with those and that's that's the only rule i wanted to throw in there while we were on this podcast um yeah just i, I like it raw sometimes and i, I think it, it creates an even playing field too so and what i'll do is after the after we get this uploaded and everything i'll give you a link that you can send to the athletes directly so if you have anything you want to direct towards them they can see that. yeah can we do like a little clip of that or something yeah Okay, that'd be super cool. Sweet. Thank you, guys. No, no problem. Um, anything else you want to talk about with the deadlift? It's, that one's pretty straightforward. Yeah, that you one's said, pretty straight. Head to head, right? So yeah, we like we like that head to head aspect. It definitely brings out the competition between the weight classes, I think, at a whole other level. If, if I had somebody in my weight class deadlifting next to me, I would deadlift a little harder for sure. <laughs> oh, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> And we've mentioned the sandbag toss a little bit, but um, how? so you got the six bags. What's the um, weights yeah. on these? So uh, we have the weights. I'll let you bring that up. One thing I want to mention real quick with the sandbag toss is uh, we've had it brought to our attention that we can probably drop a bag off there. Um, it'll most likely be the lighter bag off of it and then end up with five bags instead of six. Um, There's five is there oh there's five yeah so we'll we'll drop down to probably four bags and that'll just save us a little bit of time um also that light bag we've noticed is just getting thrown into the atmosphere so it's not really yeah. necessary anyways. <laughs> so and then we don't we don't want to have our volunteers chasing those necessarily um so that's the only thing i'll update you with that but linda has the weights here and they are subject to change um but for the most part, I think it's going to be pretty close. Like anywhere from 20 up to 50, like our yeah. lightest is 20. Okay. And then our heaviest bag is a 50 pound bag. Yep. And then I think with the women, it's going to be 12 feet and the lightweight men is going to be 12 feet. And then middleweight and up will be 15 feet. Nice. And then as well as the novice too, the novice yeah. classes will be 12 feet. Gotcha. Um, Event five, we've got farmer carries. Yep. Anything. Is this a 60 foot straight run? So no drop and turn around or anything? Yes, just a straight run. Um, no turnaround on this one. I just I just wanted it to be, you know, heavy enough to test the grip and speed of the athletes, but not not anything to, you know, make it longer than it nece longer than necessary. Again, with it being yeah. a six event show. This is something we haven't done yet, so I want to make sure it's it's efficient as well. And I think the weights we have um, are pretty reasonable. You know, at the same time, um, you know, we wanted to keep them somewhat heavy. So with those weights being what they are, I think it's pretty decent. Yeah, I'm taking a look at them right now, just kind of seeing what I would have to do. 225, is that per hand, I'm assuming? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... So, and one of the things too with this show is uh, Colorado has kind of been blowing up the last couple of years with shows and our, our, our main competition is out in Denver and a lot of their shows, um, they got, you know, uh, they got a certain crowd for their shows and they're typically really heavy. So with this, a lot of our Colorado athletes who kind of started in like 2020, 
they're they're chasing a lot of the bigger shows so we didn't expect to have any of those athletes sign up for our show but we've been in business long enough at barrett strength to kind of grab attention to a, a newer crowd of upcoming athletes and stuff like that so linda and i talked and it was her idea that maybe we make this show lighter and it's not light i'm not saying it's light but kind of doable for the athletes coming into the sport and to open up the novice yeah. class too yeah you know because people come in and they're going to go mm -hmm. you know they're not going to be able to they see these yeah. things and get intimidated so if we have a you know the novice division and a little bit lighter weights then you know they can yeah, come in and yeah try it. that's a great idea uh we yeah. we kind of did the same thing we you know we have our bigger show the limit breakers kind of like y'all's um was the Olymp olympic olympic city yeah yep. olympic, olympic city, city. Yeah. Yep. And then we have our lighter show called F and Strong because our yeah. gym is Allison yeah. Fitness Innovation. And yeah. uh, we actually made a learner's division. Um, oh, man. So How it's cool. lighter than the novice. A lot of times wow. it's just an empty implement. And we have a coach designated. We only limit it to like five learners. Wow, that's and really we have cool. a coach that like walks them through how to do it to keep you from getting hurt. We let them run through like they are at any other competitors. So the crowd's cheering them on. But there's no awards or anything like that. So they're pretty much paying for a T-shirt and – uh, training session. That's sweet. Like That's that. really cool. Yeah, innovative. I mean, part of strongman is you know lifting heavy, and if you've never done it before, it's already intimidating when you walk mm -hmm. into a gym seeing these things. So I like that idea. We've we've juggled around the ideas of starting uh, kids competitions. Linda's a big yeah. supporter, and myself too, of Mighty Bear Prints, but they talk a lot, and so hopefully we'll line something up with some kids too to kind of grab yeah. some of that attention too. That'd be great. All right, let's see. Last the last event, the Pikes Peak Stone series. Now this one did I might be wrong, but I'm going off of a World Strongest Opinion podcast. Did y'all come up with this on your own on your own or is this something That's new right. that y'all created? Yeah. yeah. So it was uh I have a friend named Colton Smith and he used to compete a while ago and when we started out of our garage in 2020, um, we we were kind of talking about running our own show. And I asked him, what events would you have? And he said, I always wanted to do one event in particular. And it would be a stone series where it starts kind of low, peaks, and then goes down. And part of that being, you know, because of the Pikes Peak Mountain here in Colorado Springs. So it's it's to replicate that. So he he kind of coined the the name and then I just ran with, you know, the design on the stone platform and it's basically it starts at 42 inches. Um actually no, I'm sorry. I think it's I, I have it written down somewhere, but I think it starts at 46 and then the peak is 55 inches. So what would normally be um you know, kind of a, a medium weight stone to maybe let's say the 46 inches, it's instead to 55 inches, mm -hmm. which makes it challenging for a lot of people. You got to get past that peak in order to load, load that last stone. And that last platform is 42 inches. And so the, the, the last platform is the lowest of all the heights. And it, it just it's a really simple change to a stone series that makes it interesting enough without having it too too different you know and complicate things. oh no i love it yeah uh, that, except it, for the fact that the 50 something inches is like, yeah 55 i'm only five, <laughs> i'm only five nine so i'm, I'm rolling that thing almost yeah. onto my face to get it up there so okay i don't feel bad i'm five ten so okay got gotcha, you yeah, yeah. Yeah, in so my like, mind, I'm like, I'm going to have to shoulder press this. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know CJ Pierce. Do you guys yeah. have you had him on? Or? Okay, so he CJ, actually um, he did, did commentary for one of my shows. Oh, perfect. Virtually. Yeah. We watched yeah. it at the gym. <laughs> yeah, we did watch that. Um, <laughs> excuse me. Um, he did Colorado Strongest the first year. And he if he had more time on that series, that last – he competed in the pro – uh, the, the, I forget what the USS division is, but it's the pro division. And so if you get a certain amount of pros, you can, you know, earn your international pro invite. Well, anyway, CJ Pierce did that stone series and I guarantee he could have loaded that 440 stone if he had more time. But anyways, that, that 55 inch height, CJ and I are about the same height. 
and he mm. threw that thing <laughs> up there and he was competing with guys that were you know six something and struggling to get it up there so i i don't think it's about the height i think it's about the technique and you know oh, to yeah. a point once you get it there you're almost pushing that stone onto the platform instead of just loading it on so that was the difference for him but he's so dang explosive it didn't even matter you know he is i watched him throw a I forget how heavy the bag was, but when they did the state strongest, yeah, he, he yeah. was loading the heaviest bag on his team when he was not the heaviest guy on the team. Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> and he's recently loaded a four hundred to shoulder a couple times. I'm like, man, that's crazy. And he grabs it width wise too, uh, because I think if he's similar to my build, he can't quite bear hug that and, and interlock his hands. So I think he has to go with that width. Uh, grab and it, which makes it even more impressive but yeah the dude's a beast he he ended up taking first at Colorado strongest um, so that was pretty cool to have him out and take that title that year so that's awesome yeah um well when we come out I don't know if Zach will be there during the show because I think he's gonna run up to Pikes Peak and back while we while we're doing the live stream oh awesome yeah. man. <laughs> You'll have yeah, to, uh, Zach, you'll anyway. have to check out the incline while you're there, too. Have you heard about the incline? I've done it one February about five years ago. February? February. <laughs> the snowiest year. It was year. covered in snow. It was, <laughs> it, was <laughs> really, it was rough. That's insane. Yeah, we actually went up one winter, too, and I think we made it about a quarter of the way because we had our daughter and our dogs with us, and we walked right <laughs> back down. That was, that's crazy, man. I commend you for that. That's a cool view once you're up top. Yeah, it was spectacular. Are you going yeah. to run from the gym or are you going to drive out there to it? I mean, I guess it depends on location. <laughs> I'm just, I mean, it can't be too, is it too far away from the trailhead? No, actually our gym is probably about, uh, oh, you're talking about, what, what are you talking about? Pikes Peak or? Yeah, just getting to like the base of the bar or the incline. Actually, you know what? I have no clue. Sadly enough, I've never, you know, looked into Pikes Peak and climbing that or anything. So I'm not too sure about that, but. If you want, we can find out and send you a message. Um, but yeah. there's some there's good stuff to see, and um, I know you can drive up a decent amount of the way and get started. Um, but I, I'm sure you're you're in for the whole hike, probably. Yeah, I must say, if it's within 20 miles from your gym, he'll probably run from the gym. Wow, Jeez. that's insane. <laughs> yeah, that's impressive, man. Yeah, that's, that's another level of athleticism that I don't have. It's sure. just a, yeah. it's just a different level of like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, imagine sure. doing the things that y'all do i'm like no, sir. Right. I'm to run 50 miles i'm like okay that's not too bad yeah <laughs> well see this is kind of the cool thing about uh colorado strongest gabe pena will be here too and he's huge into hiking and everything so maybe you guys can line something up if you're here maybe you know that next sunday or something um, yeah. Gabe, Pena, Gabe Pena will be a judge. I can't believe we forgot to mention, but he'll be a, a head judge there at the show. And, you know, he's awesome. done some incredible feats, you know, at mm. however much he weighs, nearly 300 pounds. The dude's a beast. He just, he competed. Where did he compete? FIFOR. FIFOR, Fee Fee yeah. So in Norway, right? I think so. Finland, Finland whatever one yeah. of those. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, but when, Right before he competed, he hiked a couple couple mountains before he competed. So oh, that's awesome. He's a different animal for sure. I'll have to yeah. check out Gabe. He yeah. sounds like a good dude. Oh, yeah. I'm excited. So who, do you have anybody else besides Gabe that you want to mention that's going to be there or any special um, athletes so, that you're excited to see? Uh, uh, no, not that I can think of. Um, we're still trying to figure out a, a few logistics. Um, I will, you know, kind of shout out uh, – Travis Bogard, Bogard from ATR. He's up in Wyoming. And ever since we started hosting shows, he's been our scorekeeper. And I just, I really love how, att how attentive he is to everything that's going on and how quick he is with entering scores, figuring out issues and everything. So Travis will be there uh, from ATR doing our scoring. And he actually, like I said, he's, he helped out at Colorado Strongest in Olympic City. So he's, He's always brought some good help, and we always appreciate Travis and his team. Um, so you guys will get to meet him too. Um, trying to think, there's there's nothing right now, um, but I don't know if you want to shout out some of our sponsors that we have. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the Elements one of them. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Yeah. All right. Well, I didn't write anything down. 
<laughs> so we have like always we have a five star nutrition and yeah. they're like they you know sponsor everything our gym does from our you know our olympic city they were yeah. huge sponsors and um they sponsor us as athletes as well for all our supplements and everything awesome. that we need and sponsors of our podcast yeah. that we haven't started yet <laughs> and, yeah um Cadre. you know element cadre cadre is like a local pt pt place i had some things going on with my shoulder a while back and i think just you know one session with him That's my crazy. the mobility in my shoulder time. went up like 10 degrees but they'll be out there <laughs> you know awesome. doing Stuff for the doing things for the athletes um uh, I don't see. have the, the yeah. massage yet. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to figure out massage. So um, for Olympic City, we brought on Pronetics, and they work on the Switchbacks, which is a soccer team here in Colorado Springs. Um, so Pronetics and his partner, Mountain Roots Massage. And hopefully between Cadre and those two, we'll have them set up inside the gym working on the athletes as needed. Um, who else do we have? Cerberus, of course. Oh, right. Jeez. <laughs> Cerberus oh, gave us yeah. all those um, sandbags, um, sandbag all of our toss, toss our sandbags to throw, and they've, you know, sponsored, they sponsored Olympic City as well. Yeah. Um, we have, let's see. Who else? I have somebody that's like on the tip <laughs> of my tongue, and yeah. I can't. It's funny. Can't we remember. just, we put together the, the designs for the back of the shirts uh, just last night uh, for the sponsors and the athletes and everything like that. So, I'm trying to think of everything. Um, Pioneer is oh, giving a custom belt to the Hercules hold. Yep, the, the longest Hercules male hold. and the female, man and That's woman awesome. Hercules hold for the longest. Yep, yep. Free, free certificate for that. Um, and then obviously, um, let's see. Jeez, I'm trying to remember what else. I'm really sorry that we can't think of these. I feel like we should have had these written down. But if if we forgot you. Um, we will definitely be sure to shout you guys out. Um, but I, I think those those were some of our biggest monetary sponsors. And as you guys know, this sport isn't easy to, uh, you know, obviously compete in as an athlete financially, but also as promoters. It, it becomes extremely expensive, which is why we've tried to take on, you know, as many things as we can ourselves as far as like making shirts and getting together trophies and things like that. So you know those those guys were have been huge financial sponsors which is you know something we're super grateful for because it's tough oh, man it is i understand that completely um well make sure you have a list of all the sponsors yes to me yeah. soon um okay. i'm gonna i'll snag all their logos and put it on a reel that plays during our commercial breaks awesome and then um i'll shout them out during the live stream okay. that reminds me do y'all have the MCs locked down on this and the live stream? Because I think I recommended somebody for um, yeah, I recommend doing Panda. the live okay. stream. So I yeah. don't know if y'all do y'all have everybody locked in. Not not completely, um, but I mean these these last few weeks leading up, there's so much stuff we got to get done, and that's definitely on the list. Uh, but we certainly have, you know, people that we can reach out to and get that lined up with. We do have people in mind. Um, mm -hmm. It's just a matter of lining things up again financially. You know what I mean? So. Oh no, I understand. It, it will get done for sure. I'm included in the package, but you yes. know, a lot of people okay, don't good. like hearing me talk. So. No, <laughs> it's, it's perfect, man. we'll take it. Yeah, we'll so take I, it. I got a friend of mine who handled the camera moves. I can do all the talking on the side. And if okay. You have, I've got four mics, so we can have up to three more people join me. Okay, Sweet. good. Yeah, I'm sure, you know, at some point we could even have Gabe on the podcast as a as a yeah. uh, commentary for sure. I know people love hearing Gabe's voice, and he knows the sport, you know. I mean, that oh, yeah. that's half of it, knowing what's going on and explaining to the spectators who don't know, you know. So, mm -hmm. yeah, we're going to make it a spectacle of a show. Um, you know, uh, we do have... Uh, not necessarily sponsors, but Linda reach out to, reached out to uh, three different food trucks. So we'll have some awesome food there at the show, as well as a lemonade stand truck. Um, so we'll have that. We're trying to get some alcohol at the show <laughs> of some kind. So we'll get that lined up if we can. Uh, but it's, it's going to be a really good time. And, and we, we actually had a neighbor move in 
who is opening up a recording studio and i guess he does music he does hip-hop and r&b so he might he talked about doing some opening music for us for the show and stuff like we don't know what that'll look like just yet but just another exciting little touch to the show you know um but hopefully if anything he'll be he'll be playing the music for us um with his cool. setup he's got going on so yeah we're yeah, excited stuff's me. still unraveling we we don't know what else is to come but we know one thing is like with every single one of our shows as we push for every little bit we can for the show i i think uh colorado's strongest linda reached out to element for our hydration sponsor mm -hmm. um two days or no it was, it was maybe three days before the show and they rushed the shipment of element out so that it was here the yes. next day so that was huge but we push for every little bit we can and we really hope you guys enjoyed as well as all the spectators for sure oh yeah LMNT, they're good about getting their stuff out. I or, I re reached out to them to try to get them to sponsor ours. And yep. I think before I got the final or the official yes that we were going to sponsor you, it was already on my doorstep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I came home and I was like, what is all this? <laughs> yeah. That's how <laughs> Cerberus is going. Oh, yeah. we're, we're just super thankful for Cerberus. They actually reached out to us um, after Olympic City and said, can we sponsor your guys' show? So oh. that was pretty cool. So a huge thanks to them. Um, now, as far as the MC for whoever's doing the announcing to the audience, do y'all need microphones and a PA system? If you got some handy, that would be cool. We, we have a cheap little one we got off Amazon, but it doesn't do the job quite as well as I'm sure what yours does. But if you got one that you can bring, that would be awesome. Um, yeah. We definitely have some people that would be willing to do it for sure. So, okay. so I can set the audio to send you know, the microphone talking to the audience away from the live stream. So it's not oh, perfect. over. Yeah. So we can have wow, you guys are getting really time. dialed in. We're trying, man. We're, <laughs> most cool. of our stuff came from Amazon too. So <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. well, you just got to know how to use it. We saw, yeah, you know, just, I, we <laughs> saw you guys, uh, you know, on YouTube just to show that you guys were live streaming. And I was like, Oh, we should ask them, you know, because it, everything just looks so great. It looks, it's really good. Oh, I'm so grateful good. That, for that. I appreciate it. We're, we're <laughs> trying, you know, the y'all will be the second show that has our PTZ camera. So I've got a little Sweet. Xbox controller. I can follow people with uh, my controller now. That's, <laughs> cool. that's cool. exciting. <laughs> I'm excited. We'll probably like kind of, we'll try to be in the mix a little bit, you know, maybe yeah. taking some pictures, video and kind of see what you guys are going, uh, doing because we, we want to eventually expand into, you know, starting our own live stream stuff. And, you know, so I'm sure we could have a lot to learn from you guys just in that time while you're here. So I'm looking hey. forward to it a lot. <laughs> Was it the rising tide rises all ships? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yep. You know, we'll help each other out. We'll get each other up there. Absolutely absolutely well thank you guys so much I, I don't know if you guys have any other questions or you know that's what i was about to say we we normally around 30 45 minutes and we're right on the nose Perfect. Um, awesome. unless y'all have anything special that y'all want to shout out again or if y'all want to mention to anybody um, just shout out to you guys shout out to efi for stepping up you know having us on tonight sure. um there's definitely some things i've been needing to explain and if we could just get it out in some short little videos that's huge <laughs> and it's been a pleasure for sure definitely yeah absolutely well uh hang around i'm gonna hit, hit the outro and then we'll we'll uh sign off after that sounds good <laughs>